The federal government has recommended a minimum wage of 54,000 naira as part of a tripartite committee on the new minimum wage agreement. Well, this occurred upon the return to the discussion table after organized labor uh, pulled out of the negotiations last week. At the reconvened meeting, the federal government presented a revised proposal to pay 54,000 naira instead of the initial uh, 48,000 naira it proposed during the previous sitting. However, according to one of the labor leaders, the organized labor rejected the revised plan since it was far from the 615,000 naira offered by the organized workforce. Now, according to reports, uh, the meeting that was held behind closed doors in Abuja has been rescheduled uh, for Wednesday, May 22, to proceed. We're joined now by the president of the Trade Union Congress, Festus Osifa. Good to see you and thanks for your time as well. As now, this is something the Nigerians would like to have a, a sense of. What actually transpired on the day? Yeah, uh, good evening, uh, Sulai, good evening, Ngozi, and good evening, uh, Nigerians. Uh, yes, uh, if you could remember, we had the, the meeting um, a while ago uh, where government uh, proposed the sum of 48,000 naira. That was last week. That led us to uh, uh, working out from that particular conversation. So we went into the meeting today with the, with the expectation that they are going to propose something that is reasonable because we are assured that, okay, we should come to the meeting, that when we come in, that they are going to up whatsoever that they have proposed. Uh, but we went to the meeting and uh, the from federal government, they read the sum of 54,000 naira that that is their new offer. But from us, we told them clearly because one of the reasons that we worked out the last time was that um, 48,000 naira for us was ridiculous because if you look at where an average worker is today, uh, Sulai, if you remember uh, that the last minimum wage act was signed into, I mean, became an act uh, sometime in 2019. Then after that 2019, President Muhammad Dubuari did some adjustments uh, by... Um, so just before he left office, by bringing a kind of cost of living uh, allowance adjustment. So he, he added about 40% to it. So by the time you add that 40% to the 30,000 Naira, that gives you about 42,000 Naira. And, and, and if you could remember, October last year, we had the issue of wage award that came in. If you look at that document, what we said was that the wage award of 35,000 Naira will subsist until the new, a new minimum wage is put in place. So by the time you add 35,000 Naira to 42,000 Naira, it's already 77,000 Naira. What that means is that an, uh, uh, the, the, the lowest worker today in the fed, uh, I mean, in federal government earns about 77,000 Naira. So we told them that our expectation was that the floor for conversation would have been that 77,000, the right. floor, and then you will now add something to it so that we start the conversation from there. Uh, so that was why when they presented the 48,000, so, we said um, no. That. Right. You are expecting the bottom to be 77 uh, Naira. Yes. The Edo State Governor has actually gone in that direction. So are you saying organized labor is looking at that as a template that should be you know, uh, used all across the country. Ah, uh, no, no. We are right. not. What are those what government figure, did? What figure really are you looking at realistically? Because government is saying 615 is nowhere near. Ah, uh, yes. Like what we have said, and I think right. I've said that in this studio before, that when you are going into negotiations, you don't go with your barest minimum. When you are going into negotiations, you look at all factors, then you add markup up to it so that you have room to make adjustments here and there. Because if you go your barest minimum, you cannot remain there forever. You still mm -hmm. need to move. So for us, it was a strategy for us to have submitted that 615,000 Naira. Uh, and for us, again, too, we were looking at the living wage. Because President Mohamed Dubuari has, uh, sorry, President uh, Tinubu has said over and over again that he was ready to pay living wage. Mm -hmm. So we now looked at it. How much can, can, can a worker earn today that will be a living wage? That was why we did that breakdown, which I think you have. How much will be housing? How much will be electricity? How much? So we did that. We came to that 615,000. Mm -hmm. But they have actually said that no, they don't want to look at the issue of living wage. That what they want to look at is the issue of minimum wage. We have also said, you know, if you have an accountant or a corporate financial expert, he's going to tell you something. If you look at 30,000 Naira as of 2019, mm -hmm. there, is a, there is an accounting formula 
that you could use in checking what is the value of that money today. If you look at 18,000 Naira, that was the minimum wage at 2011, there is a formula. There's what they call the net present value of money. So when you do that, you have an idea of where it is today. So you, you can actually use two things. One, you can use in 2011, for example, when 18,000 Naira was passed, what was the value of USD? Because you use USD as a common benchmark across various countries to know what the real worth of the money should be. If you look at that time in 2011, 18,000 Naira, using an exchange rate of around 140, 145, we give you about $125. So if you take that $125 today, what is the value of Naira to dollar today? Mm. You know, By the time you do that calculation, you are going to get something close to 200,000 Naira. What that means right. is that what 18,000 Naira could buy in 2011, you need almost 200,000 Naira to buy it today. And I'm sure, and I'm sure, and I'm sure, Festus, just, just let me mm. come in here, mm. Festus. Uh, uh, sorry to cut you. And I'm sure that conversation. Uh, was part of what you had with the government. Mm. You, you, you brought your own breakdown, talking yes, about correct. organized labor. Yes, correct. Did the government come with its breakdown of what that 42,000 Naira would mean to the life of uh, its worker? No, they did not. That was the first thing we asked in the meeting of last week. We said, that government, we are here. This is our figure, and this is how we arrived at it. So bring your argument based on this. So, but the one you have submitted, also, give us the argument. Tell us, what can this money do? Is it for transport alone? Is it for feeding? So do the breakdown along the line that we have also done. So they refuse to do it. So that was before the workout that happened right. last, last week. week. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. So even till date, the 54,000 era that they presented, there is no breakdown uh, that so was associated with it. So where do we go from it. here now? I mean, uh, your meeting continues tomorrow. What yes. should Nigerians expect? Yes, one of the reasons we couldn't also make meaningful progress today, because we also recognize that the component of government that is also dragging us back is the state government. Uh, right. Today, in that meeting, they weren't there. None of the state governors was there, but they, they sent, um, there were supposed to be six. The six of them, they were not present. The federal government team gave it to them. They were fully represented. The Minister of Finance, Minister of uh, Budget, the Minister of Labor, they were all there. The chairman of the committee. So from the federal government side, they were fully represented. But the state government, they were not there. But you had a representative from two of the states. Bouchy so, uh, the yes, when we now Niger. asked them, Representative from the two states, okay, tell us, do you have any mandate? They said no, that they are here and they don't have mandate. We said no, the governors, they must recognize that we are not joking. They must recognize that times are hard, that Nigerian workers are waiting for the outcome of these conversations and they must be serious about it. So, what's your so it was based on that, that we now adjourn the meeting, that there is no point for us to have further conversations with people that don't have mandate to negotiate. So we now have to adjourn the meeting till 4 p.m. to in order for the governors uh, to be there in the meeting so that we can have holistic uh, conversation. Uh, 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 let's see if we can wrap up. Uh, uh, should you come back without the governors tomorrow? What then? Uh, what uh, then do you do uh, as labor? I know. If, by the time we come back, because again, we gave them that respect today that they need to be in the meeting tomorrow. Because naturally, we meet because it, um, this uh, minimum wage is actually in the exclusive um, the exclusive uh, section of the, the, I mean, the exclusive list, list of the yeah. Constitution. So it's actually the baby of the federal government. But federal government inculcated the governors because they will still take part in the payment of this minimum wage. Yeah. So by tomorrow, we've resolved that by tomorrow, when we get there, when the governors are not there, as long as the federal government are seated, we are going to move forward. Uh, but not with the 54,000 naira that they have presented for us. That is a far cry from where we think we should be. Because 54,000 Naira is somewhere around $35 today. Mm. Go and check. Even poorest of the poor African countries, how much are they paying as minimum wage? So we well, cannot be paying $35,000, right. uh, sorry, $35 as minimum wage in Nigeria. Well, from what you is, said, you're expecting somewhere around 200000 Naira. Festo Sosi for Trade Union Congress uh, President, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and, so, uh, sorry, before I leave, uh, yeah, that is just your words, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying 200000 I'm saying that if they are coming to say that it's minimum wage, the calculation they are even using is not correct. But what we are pushing is living wage. And that was how we submitted 615,000. But there are room for negotiations Great. and conversations. It's a Thank good you place so to live it. Thank you very much. Yeah.